According to the internet, Google VO3 has just been dethroned. There's a new AI video generator straight out of China that creates high quality videos that look like movies. It's called Cdance 1.0 and it's created by ByteDance, the parent company behind TikTok and CapCut. And if we look at all the sources, we have multiple different leaderboards in which it claims to be number one. Now, this is on leaderboards with Google VO3 and Kling AI on there and on all the categories like text to video and image to video it's all ranking number one so how good is this tool actually the thing where it truly shines is multi-shot generation this means that it can keep consistent character across multiple different camera angles and it just looks amazing just take a look at this example this is a demo from the cdance website just notice how the scene has hard cuts but the detective always stays consistent now here's another example in this video there are three different shots in which the girl maintains perfect consistently across all of of the scenes. Even the audience members look perfectly realistic in every scene which other video generators struggle to do so. This tool unfortunately hasn't been released to the public yet but in the meantime let's use the demos on their website and use their exact prompts and compare it to Kling AI and Google VO3. I've used similar prompts or I've adjusted the prompts slightly but I've generated all of the scenes of Google VO3 and Kling AI in OpenArt. This allows me to switch easily between different models without having to have multiple different subscriptions. If you want to check this out for yourself, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now let's compare Cdance 1.0 to Google VO3 and Kling 2.0. We're starting off with text to video, which means there will be a difference in the type of video. So now we're truly looking at how consistent this into following the prompt and how good the quality is. So the prompt for this first video is a young man sits still on a subway train surrounded by blurred figures moving rapidly. Close up of his eyes barely blinking intensify the sense of loneliness. Now if we take a look at Google VO3, we have a hard cut instead of a slow zoom in, but it looks quite good. Like the people moving around him is exactly what I wanted. They are blurred out and we have him slowly like blinking, but it didn't quite follow the prompt as I wanted it to. Now for Cdance, we use this example from their website. Honestly, this looks quite impressed. The only issue with Cdance right now is all of these demos are from their website. So we know that these might be cherry picked, but honestly, the people moving fast like in front of him and then the slow zoom in him staring into the camera is looking insanely good the only issue i have is with that person sitting on the bench that is moving fast right off the beginning that looks a bit glitchy and then we have cling 2.1 it does the slow zoom in but there's not as dynamic movement like cdance and google via tree has for example no one is moving in front of him or behind him but he does have a good facial expression overall this one would go to cdance google via tree and then cling in my opinion moving on we got the second prompt here we got in a cafe a close-up shot captures an elderly man sitting pensively. His gaze is focused and his expression shifts from a deep thought to a gentle smile. He raises a hand to brush through his hair, then he clasps his hand under his chin. Finally, he lowers his hand, lean forward, and his eyes reflect both contemplation and the spark of finding an answer. He squints slightly, ending it with a relieved smile. So basically, we're looking for his reaction here. Honestly, Google VO3 here is quite good. He's already quite smiling, but it's it's following the prompt exactly. It's, it's exactly what I wanted. See dance good job, but like he goes through his hat, which is kind of like strange because he like has to take off his hat first before he can go through his hair. And then Kling, Kling is also quite good. It's just hard to see if he's sitting in a cafe and he barely has hair that he touches, but I, I love how he's like leaning on his hands. I think all of these are quite good. My preference would go to VO3 at first, then maybe Kling, because like I think the thing with the hat is just a big of an issue. But honestly, all of them are quite good in this situation. I'm curious to know like which one has your preference on prompt number two okay prompt number three this one you might have seen online at least this is the one i saw online which i was quite impressed by this is a fox that is running through the forest sunlight filters down through the gaps and the leaves the fox stops alertly perking up its ears spotting danger it quickly turns and flees with the camera chasing after the fox so yeah let's see how it does google via tree we start off with a static camera angle looks quite good fox gets alerted and then he moves away and we have a second camera angle I quite like this one. Then let's move on to Cdance. I love how the camera kind of like follows the fox as it zooms out. Then we have a second camera angle where we see him run away. Yeah, this is 
insane. This is really, really good. Like if you would say this is real, I would I would believe you on this one. Then for Kling, we have the fox running, just looking around and then running away. Kling doesn't quite follow the prompt here, but I believe Seadance and Google V3 have done the best here. In order of prompt coherence, I have to give this to Seadance, but overall Google V3 is a close second. The only thing that sucks is that it didn't have the tracking shot in the beginning. Overall, Seadance one, Google V3 number two, and Kling number three here. Number four, here we have a young girl in a white dress that's standing on a rocky outcrop. Sea breeze lifting her hair as she gazes down at a message in a bottle clasped in her hands. Her fingertips are brushing the glass gently with the note inside shimmering with the light shift and the waves. The background is a vast expanse of the azure sea cresting with white foam. Quite a lot going on here. And then the shot is the handheld camera with the frame tremble slightly with the rhythm and breathing. Keeping focus locked on the delicate profile of the girl's face. Quite a lot going on here. Let's see how it performs. So we have the hair breezing. It kind of looks like somewhat of a handheld shot. She's touching the glass bottle, almost like petting it. Looks quite good, good on Google VO3. Then Seedance, we have the waves coming in, handheld shots, good movements. She's studying or like looking at the glass bottle. This one looks pretty realistic. Then Kling 2.1. I like this one as well. It, it doesn't quite feel like handheld motion though. She's also doing nothing with the glass, but she's just looking at it. But it might look a bit more natural than it does on Google VO3. Overall, Sea Dance is best here. And then I would say Kling and Google VO3 are both tied in this situation because Kling didn't follow the handheld prompt and Google VO3 has some weird like padding with the glass going on. So not sure which one I like the most. For number five, we have streaks of sunlight that are piercing through the water surface. A wheel glides between gentle coral rifts. I'm not sure wheels are supposed to do that in coral rifts, but the shot begins with an overhead view of rippling sunlight on the water and slowly tilts downwards to review the whale's massive form emerging from the shadows. As it fully swims into view, the camera pulls back gradually. Okay, so we're looking for a whale emerging from the corals and then the camera is pulling back gradually. So let's see. So from Google VO3, we have a from behind shot and then it switches towards a different angle, but we don't have a whale there. It looks quite good, but I, I don't get the, the second camera angle there. Then see dance the whale is emerging from the corals. It's swimming the camera does appear to move backwards and i really love how you can see like the sunlight going through the the surface of the of the water then cling 2.1 the wheel's not emerging but it looks like it just took a breath from the water it moves down into the coral reefs honestly it looks quite good like we have the camera kind of like tilting backwards but both vo3 and cling didn't quite follow the prompt as good as sea dance did but this could also be the case because this is cherry picked on sea dance side okay Okay, for number six, we got multiple shots going on in one video. So we have in the morning, a teenager cycles through the European city district. The shot cuts from the bicycle wheels on the cobblestone street to a front facing perspective of him riding. And it finally ends with him pedaling into the sunlit square. Quite a difficult prompt. So let's see what it made there. Okay, I'm noticing right away, all of them are starting with the wheels. If we look at Google VO3, then we can see we have three shots in one video. So first we have a close up the wheel then it moves up and we have the boy cycling and then we have a from behind shot quite impressive i think this one has done quite well then for sea dance we have him starting wow <laughs> wow sea dance looks just like a movie like it, we have multiple shots going on good consistency wow this is insane okay so for sea dance we have a close-up shot with the camera following it then a shot from in front of him and then like kind of like over the shoulder crane shot or drone shot even okay yeah this this right away is the winner now for cling 2.1 we have a shot of him at the bicycle moving up kind of similar to uh, google vo3 but we don't have the from behind shot it seems like kling doesn't do like multi-cam in one video yet so yeah in, in this case nothing beats c dance so c dance one google vo3 number two and then kling is number three in this regard moving on i want to see how c dance compares with image to video so all of these videos have been generated from an image and to keep it like kind of like consistent, I used the first frame of each C-Dance video because that's the only demo that I have because I cannot generate it yet with C-Dance. And I put those frames inside Kling 2.1 and inside of Google VO3. So let's see what we have. The first one starts off with a girl playing the piano as the camera is switching between multiple angles, creating some cinematic texture. So with Google VO3, we start off with a wide angle of the girl playing piano and then she has a red dress. One thing I'm noticing 
thing compared to the other ones is that her dress color has changed. So it didn't quite could understand what kind of dress she was wearing based on this image right here. But that isn't keeping it consistent. But I like that we at least have like two angles, one wide shot and then one close angle of her playing the piano. And that looks quite good as well. Now for C-Dance, we're starting off with a wide shot, then a moving angle shot and then a close up of her playing the piano. And then it goes back. Okay, wow. Well, it seems like we got multiple camera angles going on with C-Dance here. Yeah, we got like three angles going on. This is quite impressive. Like this is quite sick. And the character consistency is also pretty great. Like you notice the same kind of movements as she's playing. The zoom in on her hands is quite good. And also the camera movements. Ah, I love it. Now let's compare it to Kling. Okay, so we start with the opening shot and then it fades into a different shot. Then we have the camera going around her and then it fades into black. Honestly, quite good. It, it gave us two angles. I, I don't like the, the fading in there. I would say like it could do a better job at giving multiple angles. I would also say the audience is glitching a little bit in the background in the Kling video. So for this one, C-Dance has my preference, then Google VO3 and then Kling 2.1. So for the second image to video prompt, we got this image right here of quite a futuristic scene. And then the prompt is the man on the right of the frame walks towards the man on the left, expressing his intense dissatisfaction to him. Okay, let's see what we got. Google VO3, like he's straight up screaming to that like robot. He's not happy with AI. He's like, yo, you need to go away, dude. The thunder in the background is also quite intense. It goes on for quite a bit of time. I, I don't think that looks that good. Okay, let's see C-Dance now. He's turning towards the guy, which I like. And then the robot is kind of like disgusted with himself. Like, oh yeah, shit, I really did that. The thunder as well looks really good. I think this one looks best. Then Kling 2.1. So he's walking up towards the robot. There's some glitching and, and like it almost seems like explosions going on in the background with all the smoke. Looks a bit strange. But yeah, the, the robot is just looking at us and he's like he doesn't give any shits about like the, the guy talking bad about him. Honestly, C-Dance is best here. Uh, I think Kling followed the prompt better than Google VO3 did. Now for both Kling and VO3, I would say this is about a tie. Like both have the lighting going on. Google VO3, he walks a bit faster towards the robot and in the Kling video we have some weird explosions going on. But they all did quite well in this scene. Okay, so for this third image, I got this picture of a cat that is like leaping onto the table and he's drinking some water let's see how it turns out google vo3 quite good the shadows on the chair a bit strange i even like that they added like some movement of the milk in the cup i do think this is quite good now for sea dance i mean the cat drinking definitely is best but just the leaping is a bit strange in my opinion but in terms of the colors it looks pretty accurate and now for cling 2.1 yo that cat is thirsty i honestly think that cling 2.1 looks the most natural right here like he's fully standing on the table the way he leaps onto the table looks good how aggressively he's drinking. Yeah, honestly, I think this one is, is the best. I would say C-Dance is second and Google VO3 is third in this regard. Moving on, we have image number four and this one is quite hard to follow because I got this prompt right here, which is the camera rotates slowly as the sleeves flutter gently. Now for Google VO3, we have the item, the, the whole t-shirt is rotating. The camera is not doing anything. For C-Dance, it looks like the camera is rotating around it, but the object is also rotating rotating with it so it's quite strange like it doesn't look like the camera is rotating at all but i, I like the gentle look to it then for cling to Pino, we can clearly see that it's rotating around the object but it's just going a bit too fast honestly i do think cling might look best here then c dance looks a bit more natural and then google vo3 didn't quite follow the prompt in my opinion okay this next image which is number five is one of my favorite images in this entire lineup so here we have as the prompt we have a character that's walking through the door and walks into the distance. Please note, there's no instructions on any type of like camera movement here. So any camera movement, I guess is good camera movement in this case, but let's see which one looks the most natural and which one we like the most. I quite like how you can see the reflection in Google VO3 and how he reappears after he has left the scene or like it looks like he left the scene after he walked past that door. I honestly quite like Google VO3. Now for C-Dance, the slow zoom in as he's walking through the door frame is really impressive. I like this one a lot. For Kling 2.1, there's no camera movement, but the water looks a bit weird. This all comes down to your personal preference. I think I am tied between Google VO3 and C-Dance 1.0 in this case. I think the walking is more natural on Google VO3. And Kling 2.1, the water messes us up in my opinion. For the last image, I got this image of this girl right here. And the prompt is, a girl looks into the camera. Her earrings are swaying gently as she turns. The camera rotates slowly around her in a dreamy sunlight. So let's see 
see what we got. Google VO3, she's looking into the camera. Camera's not really rotating. She's rotating herself. But I like the shadows though. And I like the lighting, but it looks... Nah, let's let's take a look at C-Dance. C-Dance, camera's rotating. The girl is looking into the camera and then she smiles. Damn, you could fall in love with her just in that moment. That's how quick it goes. So yeah, C-Dance, really good. Now for Kling 2.1, I like how she blinks and then she stares at you. Yeah, Kling 2.1, C-Dance and 1.0, both really good in this regard. I think Google VO3 was the worst in this case. The only thing that I would say is strange about Kling 2.1 is that the lighting completely changes from the first shot. So I think C-Dance is number one, Kling number two, and then Google VO3 number three. Now let me know which one out of all of these tests are your favorites. And I will do a complete test of C-Dance 1.0 once it becomes available and I can apply all my prompts and I will also do an in-depth tutorial about it. If you want to generate any type of video using all of the best AI video models, then head over to the link in the description. And here inside of OpenArt, you can see all of these different variations of models that you can choose. For example, you can switch between VO2, VO3, you can use Kling 2.1, and you can even use like Halo. And hopefully they will also have Cdance available once it comes out to the public. Now, if you want to learn how you can use AI to build your own AI influencer, which you can make money from, then click the video that's on the screen right now and I will teach you in depth on how you can make your own AI influencer and it's super simple.